Karlov of the Ghost Council versus Kestia the Cultivator. I don't think I've played against Kestia yet. Came out a few months ago. Uh, yeah, we can keep that. We'll go into a turn one Godless Shrine. And then we can go for our Karlov on turn two. Although we don't have any means of gaining life, so I don't think we really need to do that. And we do need life gain triggers for Karlov because whenever we gain life, he gets two plus one counters. And then for Orzov, and remove six plus counters, we get to exile a creature. We get into more mana with Sol Ring, so we'll go for Sol Ring into Blind Obedience. And that makes artifacts and creatures our opponent's control enter tapped. But the main thing is that it has Extort, so once we have Karlov in play, whenever we cast a spell, we'll be able to pay the Extort cost. That will drain our opponent for one, and it'll put plus one, plus one counters onto Karlov. Kestia is a Bant Commander, 4-4, four, four, an enchantment creature. It has Bestow of six. Enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four. And whenever an enchanted creature or enchantment creature you control dies, you draw a card. Oh, sorry, whenever it attacks, not when it dies. We get into disenchant, which is good. Get our land drop down, and then we'll go for Karlov. I'm not going to use the disenchant on the mana crypt, just because I don't want our opponent to scoop on us. So in that case, I think we will just pay. We'll pay for the extort cost here, and that will send us back up to our starting life total. And down comes Eidolon of Blossoms. And that is a great enchantress uh, card. That is four mana for a 2-2. It's an enchantment creature. Whenever it or another enchantment enters under your control, you draw a card. Make good use of this in my enchantress builds. And I think that's actually disenchant worthy. We should really go for Return to Dust on both of these things here, but like I say, I don't want my opponent to scoop on us. That is unfortunately something that we have to play around. We'll say yes on the extort. That will make Karlov a 4-4. And then we'll hold up Enlightened Tutor. Uh, I can probably go for a Whisper Silk Cloak with that next turn, and then we can make Karlov unblockable, and it will have Shroud. That's three to throw out, and it equips for two. So we will have enough mana to do that next turn, unless our opponent does something to our Sol Ring. Okay, going for Control Magic. Yeah, okay, so that makes me want to return to Dust. Next turn. Do we still want to enlighten shooter is the question. I think we will. Now we don't have any black mana really, so I won't go for necropotence. Yeah, I think the thing to do is still to go well we could go for authority of the consoles. Yeah, authority of the consoles is more difficult to get rid of. So we'll just draw into that and then it is return to dust. And we will not pay the extort because I want to get the authority down. And that's our opponent down to four mana, getting them closer to us. Authority of the consoles is a one mana enchantment. Creatures you control, or creatures your opponent control, enter tapped. And whenever a creature enters under our opponent's control, we gain a life. So it's just more life triggers for us. We can get down the commander now. But they just stop for another Enchantress card. We do have Anguished on making to get rid of that if we want to. So how about... Yeah, I don't mind going for that actually. Because that will give us an Extort trigger. And it will make Karlov bigger. And then we can just swing in with Karlov and start attempting to get Commander damage. They'll be up to 10 Commander damage now. And any creatures they play will come into play tapped. 
and any creatures they play will also make our Karlov bigger. Okay, Nylea doesn't do it. Rogue's Passage can make Karlov unblockable, so it doesn't matter that we didn't get the, uh, the Whisper Silk Cloak a few turns ago. Just go in at that. And... Oh, could we have got the win off this turn? Oh, we can do it now, can't we? Yeah, I should have looked at that beforehand, but we can go for the Essence Harvest now. That's six damage to our opponent, and then the extort is the one. So that does it. Essence Harvest is target player loses X life and we gain X life, where X is the greatest power amongst creatures we control. Karlov was six power. So we got to do six damage to our opponent. And then the extort um, allowed us to drain, which also made Karlov bigger, so it actually made the Essence Harvest do more damage. So we had it either way. Uh, should have probably looked at that before I swung in, but there we go. Karlov of the Ghost Council versus Kestia the Cultivator. Got to see what she was trying to go for there with uh, basically an Enchantress build, but Karlov is a, a pretty fast and sometimes a bit of a spiky deck. We were into top deck mode there, but we can just pile on damage so quickly with Karlov that if they don't have answers, then there's not a whole lot that they're going to do about it. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. I'm Travel Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you all very much for watching.